collision. A collision is the event in which two or more bodies exert forces on each other in about a relatively short time. Although the most common colloquial use of word collision refers to incidents in which two or more objects collide with great force, the scientific use of the word collision implies nothing about the magnitude of the force. Some examples of physical interactions that scientists would consider collisions. Some colloquial uses of the word collision are. Collision is short duration interaction between two bodies or more than two bodies simultaneously causing change in motion of bodies involved due to internal forces acted between them during this. Collisions involve forces. The magnitude of the velocity difference just before impact is called the closing speed. All collisions conserve momentum. What distinguishes different types of collisions is whether they also conserve kinetic energy. The line of impact is the line which is collinear to the common normal of the surfaces that are closest or in contact during impact. This is the line along which internal force of collision acts during impact, and Newton's coefficient of restitution is defined only along this line. Collisions are of three types. They are 1. Perfectly elastic collision, 2. Inelastic collision, 3. Perfectly inelastic collision. Specifically, collisions can either be elastic, meaning they conserve both momentum and kinetic energy, or inelastic, meaning they conserve momentum but not kinetic energy. An inelastic collision is sometimes also called a plastic collision. A perfectly inelastic collision is a limiting case of inelastic collision in which the two bodies stick together after impact. The degree to which a collision is elastic or inelastic is quantified by the coefficient of restitution, a value that generally ranges between 0 and 1. A perfectly elastic collision has a coefficient of restitution of 1, a perfectly inelastic collision has a coefficient of restitution of 0. There are two types of collisions between two bodies, one, head-on collisions or one-dimensional collisions, where the velocity of each body just before impact is along the line of impact, and two, Non-head-on collisions, oblique collisions or two-dimensional collisions, where the velocity of each body just before impact is not along the line of impact. According to the coefficient of restitution, there are two special cases of any collision as written below. In any type of collision there is a phase when for a moment colliding bodies have the same velocity along the line of impact. Then the kinetic energy of bodies reduces to its minimum during this phase and may be called a maximum deformation phase for which momentarily the coefficient of restitution becomes 1. Collisions in ideal gases approach perfectly elastic collisions, as do scattering interactions of subatomic particles which are deflected by the electromagnetic force. Some large-scale interactions like the slingshot-type gravitational interactions between satellites and planets are perfectly elastic. Collisions between hard spheres may be nearly elastic, so it is useful to calculate the limit in case of an elastic collision. The assumption of conservation of momentum as well as the conservation of kinetic energy makes possible the calculation of the final velocities in two-body collisions. In maritime law, it is occasionally desirable to distinguish between the situation of a vessel striking a moving object, and that of it striking a stationary object. The word elision is then used to mean the striking of a stationary object, while collision is used to mean the striking of a moving object. So when two vessels run against each other, it is called collision whereas when one vessel ran against another, it is considered elision. The fixed object could also include a bridge or dock. While there is no huge difference between the two terminologies and often they are even used interchangeably, it is important to determine the difference because it helps clarify the circumstances of emergencies and adapt accordingly. In the case of Bain Line Bunkering Incorporated v. Natalie DMB, it was established that there was the presumption that the moving vessel is at fault, stating that presumption derives from the common sense observation that moving vessels do not usually collide with stationary objects unless the moving vessel is mishandled in some way. This is also referred to as the Oregon Rule. Relatively few problems involving collisions can be solved analytically, the remainder require numerical methods. An important problem in simulating collisions is determining whether two objects have in fact collided. This problem is called collision detection. Collisions play an important role in cue sports. Because the collisions between billiard balls are nearly elastic, and the balls roll on a surface that produces low rolling friction, their behavior is often used to illustrate Newton's laws of motion. After a zero friction collision of a moving ball with a stationary one of equal mass, the angle between the directions of the two balls is 90 degrees. This is an important fact that professional billiards players take into account, 
although it assumes the ball is moving frictionlessly across the table rather than rolling with friction. Consider an elastic collision in two dimensions of any two masses m and m, with respective initial velocities u and u where u equals zero, and final velocities 5 and 5. Conservation of momentum gives mu equals mv plus mv. Conservation of energy for an elastic collision gives m vertical bar u vertical bar equals m vertical bar v vertical bar plus m vertical bar v vertical bar. Now consider the case m equals m, we obtain u equals v plus v and vertical bar u vertical bar equals vertical bar v vertical bar plus vertical bar v vertical bar. Taking the dot product of each side of the former equation with itself. Vertical bar u vertical bar equals u u equals vertical bar v vertical bar plus vertical bar v vertical bar plus 2 volts v. Comparing this with the latter equation gives v v equals 0, so they are perpendicular unless v is the zero vector. In a perfectly inelastic collision, i.e., a zero coefficient of restitution, the colliding particles stick together. It is necessary to consider conservation of momentum where v is the final velocity which is hence given by the reduction of total kinetic energy is equal to the total kinetic energy before the collision in a center of momentum frame with respect to the system of tau particles, because in such a frame the kinetic energy after the collision is zero. In this frame most of the kinetic energy before the collision is that of the particle with the smaller mass. In another frame, in addition to the reduction of kinetic energy there may be a transfer of kinetic energy from one particle to the other. The fact that this depends on the frame shows how relative this is. With time reversed, we have the situation of two objects pushed away from each other, for example, shooting a projectile, or a rocket applying thrust. Collisions of an animal's foot or paw with the underlying substrate are generally termed ground reaction forces. These collisions are inelastic, as kinetic energy is not conserved. An important research topic in prosthetics is quantifying the forces generated during the foot-ground collisions associated with both disabled and non-disabled gait. This quantification typically requires subjects to walk across a force platform as well as detailed kinematic and dynamic analysis. Collisions can be used as an experimental technique to study material properties of objects and other physical phenomena. An object may deliberately be made to crash land on another celestial body to do measurements and send them to Earth before being destroyed, or to allow instruments elsewhere to observe the effect. See for example. Let the linear, angular and internal momenta of a molecule be given by the set of our variables, p. The state of a molecule may then be described by the range delta w equals delta p delta p delta p, delta p. There are many such ranges corresponding to different states, a specific state may be denoted by the index i. Two molecules undergoing a collision can thus be denoted by it is convenient to suppose that two molecules exert a negligible effect on each other unless their center of gravity's approach within a critical distance be. A collision therefore begins when the respective centers of gravity arrive at this critical distance, and is completed when they again reach this critical distance and their way apart. Under this model, a collision is completely described by the matrix formula underscore 3, which refers to the constellation before the collision and the constellation after the collision. This notation is convenient in proving Boltzmann's H theorem of statistical mechanics. Types of attack by means of a deliberate collision include an attacking collision with a distant object can be achieved by throwing or launching a projectile. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.